Hello everyone, welcome on back to Survival Challenge. So it's the, the high month for the honey. I'm bringing that right down to the store, it's starting to go down, so. And I, I was thinking while I was loading this up, I really need to get a milk trailer. The milk, again, is, it is a pretty good price. This $20,000 there. But my... The trailer that I used the last time is full of water. So I think that it's on the agenda to get... I'm not sure. Does this have a... You might be able to fit it to this. Maybe. I'm also hoping to get some more fertilizer. Solid fertilizer and seeds. We're pretty low on both. We are completely out of manure now, as far as I can find, at least. We have about a bag and a half of seeds, two bags of seeds. But we could probably get rid of them pretty quick, just putting them into the greenhouse. It's pretty good. Those are environmental might be. Yeah, environmental's down. I think that's because of these two fields. And I'm sure 27 probably is not helping. It's my guess. Let's go ahead and. Nope, not in the sales, of course. Best trailer that I can find, at least size wise, is probably this one again. 15,000 liters, just basically everything. Why is what? We got 3,000 liters. Uh, 8,000 liters for 25 grand. It's, it's probably the best deal. Pretty sure we can put stuff on top. Got side protection. Yeah, let's put a trailer hitch in the back. That might be nice in the future. Never know. Well, let's paint this one white. Or slightly less white. Yeah, it looks that looks good. White, uh, white wheels. Oh, we should be able to pick it out pretty easily. Of oh, this is the milk trailer. And let's buy some bags of fertilizer, seeds, seeds. Let's do eight of those. Eight of these. We tough when we need to buy that plow. I just realized that. We should be fine on lime. Oh, now that knocked our money down quite a bit. But we do have the trailer, so we could sell milk right away. It's possible this won't all fit on this trailer, so we'll, we might put some on top of the tank. But we did spend a lot of money on this, but we shouldn't need any more for a little while. Theory. Should go quite a ways. I think last time we did this, it, it was a decent amount of time ago now. I don't know why we would need it any again. This is everything. Here we go. Put this back to where we found it. I lower my mouse sensitivity again. I always turn it up for uh, front loader stuff, especially well this. There's a lot of more movement on that than uh, there is on anything else. Well, I'm 
unfortunately, I can't get these to hook up correctly. I've tried it on this one, as well as this one. This one actually has a trailer hitch. So, yeah, I don't know how to... Maybe I'm not quite close enough. Um, so the one trailer is somewhere in the ground now. <laughs> This one is halfway into the ground. Oh boy. I can't even find the other trailer on the map. I can't find either of those trailers on the map. It like it disappeared out of the game. It's there though. It's not show on map. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll try and restart the save. See if that does it. If not, then I'll have to correct everything. <laughs> yeah, that did that didn't that didn't work. <laughs> um uh, I'm pretty sure this is like stock stock. It's not, yeah, it's not going anywhere. And it doesn't show up on the map either, so I, I, I think that means I have to basically sell it. So when I go in here, show on map, not doing anything. Well, for this one, it, uh, oh, links. Oh, it's still showing this, isn't it? Oh, wait. What? What? Why is our... It says our trailer is up here. How did it get here? <laughs> Just disappears. Is it actually here, though? It... Actually is here. So I guess I gotta try to get that uh, out of here some way. I need to somehow reset the other trailer too then. Which unfortunately does not show up on a map, at least there. Maybe it's somewhere up here. Uh, I don't know, that's, that's, that's mind boggling. It's in miscellaneous. Okay, so that one does show it's down here. Yeah, okay, so this one does show correctly. But it's not on the map, so I can't just reset it. Okay, so we have 8,149. So I'm going to have to resell it and then rebuy it. Well, well, the trailer attacher didn't seem to work last time. But I did buy it last time, so I should buy it again like that. And I'll correct the money. There we go. I'm not sure how I'm going to try and get uh, the other trailer out of there. That might be something I do off camera. Because I'm going to have to try and basically go off that ledge, I think. And the bags were attached, but now they're not. At least some of them. Maybe I can just get it straightened out fine, but... Super strength, maybe.
Not sure if that's all of the bags, but... Yeah, the one is phased through the trailer. I might still end up needing to reset the trailer at some point, but... We'll do it in the yard. We can unstrap these. I think uh I think the trailer I have to be reset. Now I got a nice mess all over the yard. Well let's reset the this trailer and then we can We can grab it again later, but let's go ahead and uh, spread some lime. I'll get this stuff just fixed to in between this mess. That's the, the first time I've seen that. I need to do the pick up the bales. I don't know if we'll get to mow as much as that of that feel as I was hoping. I wasn't planning on having a trailer just fly away, I guess. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what happened. I was trying to attach it and I went to enter the cab and it wouldn't let me enter. So I just tabbed to it. And then I tabbed back and everything was in the ground or disappeared. So something was clearly messed up. But this needs to be moved over. Wouldn't mind selling the milk too. Not sure what the price is of that is right now. It is going down still. Nothing cuts quite like a memory. Especially when that you're trying to forget Was probably the closest I've ever seen lime B. We probably could use a little bit more, but I'm not going to buy a bag over that. We will at some point need to buy just another trailer load and fill it up. I did notice I put the different tires on this than what I originally had it at. Have to switch that around 
I get a chance. I think we'll get back and uh, do some mowing because I think that's probably the top thing I'll, we need. Cows are good for that. I'll have to fill up the food. And for high prices, there's, I mean, maple syrup, but I, it feels like that goes high demand all the time. I think for now, this will be where that trailer lies. We do need more manure too. How is that, uh, doing manure? Could definitely use more. Well, I guess we'll go back to the store. Does it have a hitch? No. I'll go back to the store and we'll get that topped off by a couple thousand liters. And then we can just focus on mowing that's probably the main priority next month we do have uh, corn it's corn harvest which lines up nicely because I do want to get the one tree cut down in there line up nicely for when I am uh, cutting the other ones down I'm probably not even going to try to have two, two trailers with that for a while. Can we buy all that? I didn't know we could buy all of these crops from here. Am I going the wrong way? Ten thousand liters should be good. It's nicely backed up in here. I don't think our silo supports it. There we go. I don't think we're going to get all the whole thing mowed. I don't think we mowed the entire thing of this either. Just a good portion of it. I forgot to fill up uh, the Massey. When was that? Was that last video? Said I was going to do that? Completely forgot. But once we can get some fields out here, we can uh, finish our track. I don't think it'll be the entire thing. But we'll for certain do this nice flat portion down here. The trees are kind of in the way, but... Or maybe we could do half of this field and then plow it and come back and do it again. The silage wouldn't be a very high price for seven months. Probably more than that, actually. Nine months. I 
But we could just do half and half. Then we could start plowing and making a fairly good sized field now and then do another one later. Possible this hill may not harvest the best. It's hard to say. It's probably a little bit more than half. Yeah, that'll be a lot more than half, I guess. But it's what it is. We'll mow this portion. And clear all the, the trees and stuff, and then come back and do the other portion. We can do a nice big field in here. Not the entire thing that we mow will be the field. The field could be bigger. Just how you just try to make a nice easy kind of part to mow. Not with, you know, weird turns and stuff. Easier to windrow and bale and do all that too. Well, I'll go ahead and time-lapse the mowing of this field. It'll be probably a longer one. Like I've done in the past, it's just a do right at the end of the video, do nice long time-lapse, and then finish it out like that. So I'll uh, talk to everyone once that is done. So yeah, I've uh, decided just to do the whole thing on one get go. I think that would just make it a lot easier. I'm, I know I'm not getting all of this side, but it kind of what I've said in the past. It's not going to be the most accurate showing of how big the piece of land is. It's just a. Uh, I'm mowing a majority of it. And this is the only time we will mow it. Uh, on that field, it grew back by the time we plowed it. and Well, probably by the time we had it bailed up, honestly. It's just, uh... So you get a lot of money from it. And I wouldn't want to do that multiple times. You know, it's just, uh... I like to get a field into the ground. 
I'm not sure why the bushes didn't get cut. But I always thought they did, but maybe maybe they don't. I was just dreaming. Yeah, it'll take plenty of time to windrow it, bail it. Uh, I know what we did last time. We just finished out that episode with the windrowing. The bailing took a little bit longer. I think on that one I did a couple strips off camera. Because we'll get quite a few bales from this. I think from that field, the other piece of land that we bought, we got close to 100000 from the silage. That's another reason why I'm not going to cut it a second time. Even if you made this all into grass, you could sell it to silage too. I think we only have the corn ready next time. We should be able to get that knocked out fairly quickly. We can focus on getting this stuff ready. Um, in between this video and the next, I'll get some of the trees cut down in this area. I think there's some over there too this piece of land since most of it will end up being field I might not cut that big one down I don't know might leave that whole side chunk there available depending on what the soil is looking like I might just leave it and I always put production there or something I haven't really decided. So technically, we own just on the other side of uh, that big bunch of trees. That's what it looks like when I miss them. I don't have any plans of cutting that big bunch down. I think these small ones throughout this portion will be cut. And probably the one that I keep hitting on the that cornfield down there every time I spray as I think yeah after this uh, I think I said it and said in the last video too I think uh, with the new land after this we're just saving for upgrades obviously if there's anything that we're thinking that we need but uh, some upgrades for the cows would be nice. Yeah, cause we own all the way out to uh, say over here. Oh, I didn't cut everything, but we could definitely put a animal pen maybe. Sure, there's plenty of expensive pens to look at. That's not really any bigger than our current one down here. Cows are there are plenty I was looking at. They're pretty big, but we'd have to. We'd have the room out here. I think 150 cows would probably be enough. There are the, the auto feeding robot ones. We do not have enough money for that. Well, I think that is about everything for today. And thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.